Well, hi, Katia. Thank you so much for letting me interview you today. And um, you work at Zapier, correct? Yeah. Okay, cool. So let us know what is your position at Zapier and how long have you worked there for? Uh, so I'm a data analyst at the data team mm -hmm. and I've been working here for a bit longer than three months now. Nice, cool. So for you, is this a completely new situation or have you worked remotely before? I've worked remotely about five years and a half ago nice. uh, during two years. Uh, then went back to the offices and now I'm back in remote. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. So tell me what, what is your experience working remotely? I mean, was it a easy transition from an office to working remotely or was there things that you worked through to be more productive or just any tips that you can give us is great. Um, basically it is a bit hard for someone who's never done it because you have to have a lot of discipline. Mm -hmm. You have to sit every morning, with the tasks I have to do today, because it's easy to get distracted when you're not like sitting with the team and discussing stuff with the team. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I have to be really active. Like we have a Slack channel and we communicate regularly to know everyone's page. Mm -hmm. um, and also, it's hard sometimes. It can feel a bit lonely. Mm -hmm. um, but everyone is there uh, to speak to you and the idea is that you find stuff to do on the side that make you be more sociable because mm -hmm. sometimes just the online social uh, is not enough. So for me, I started going more to the gym. I visit friends more often in the weekend to compensate the known office atmosphere. Yeah, that's awesome. So a lot of companies I speak to, they're kind of asking what kind of systems do companies have in place to make it so their employees can successfully work remotely. So for you, does Zapier give you any tools or any systems? Like how, what's the setup for you in order for you to do this? Um, so we had uh, access to a budget to create our own environment. So we are allowed to buy a desk um, and we can pick whatever desk we want. Uh, some, some colleagues even find that working on those desks that go up and down <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. for them. Um, they give us access to budget for uh, music to keep us like entertained because some of the roles we have, like for me, sometimes I'm coding and I uh, just need to have some background music. Mm -hmm. um, anything we need, they will provide. Uh, and even one thing that is allowed is even if you have your um, home desk, mm -hmm. there is an encouragement of people that live nearby to meet every so often and oh, sit together cool. and discuss a bit. Yeah, for that's example, amazing. when I go to Portugal, where, mm -hmm. where I'm from, mm -hmm. I have one of my colleagues there and we go to a co-working space. Mm -hmm. And Zapier pays for that, even having paid for my office, they will still give you a budget to whenever you want to meet anyone else. That's so, amazing. So yeah. Zapier pays like for a budget if you want to go into a co-working space for the day, right? Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. Oh, and randomly, I was in Portugal like just two days ago for a month. Oh. I love Portugal. Where are you from in Portugal? I'm from Faro. But yeah, like, I was in like Portimao for like three weeks. Hi, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. really lovely weather I'm sure you enjoyed it <laughs> yes now coming to London and the weather yeah you can't yeah. count on the weather here <laughs> yeah because it's been raining it's the depression Mike Miguel or whatever <laughs> yes yeah and I think that's also an amazing thing about working remotely is you can just I don't know so with Zapier you could just get on a plane if you wanted to and go work from another country is yeah. that correct so it doesn't matter uh, where you work from yeah we have one thing that is first of all unlimited holidays mm -hmm. So no one is going to point a finger at you if you just put your days off when mm -hmm. you are away. But you can always like, if your flight is during the morning or afternoon, you can just put half the day. Nice. And if you fly in the night, which is what I normally do, mm -hmm. then I'll just work from there. They don't really uh, care where we are as long as we do our work and, and the, the work is not disrupted. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, like, uh, if I want to visit friends even and stay for a couple of days, 
um, then I'll just do that. I'll just work from home and that's yeah. amazing. And I think um, I think I forgot to say in the beginning, but basically Zapier has. So I was talking to someone. They were saying they have you guys have two hundred and fifty employees. So like, and everyone yeah. is completely remote first, right? Like, there's no actual office. So everyone is all over the world. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's people that mainly in America. There's people that like every week sit together and work. But the only time that we actually join in sort of an office mm -hmm. is when we do retreats and everyone mm -hmm. sits uh, together. But everyone is remote and everyone is doing their own time zones. Mm. And yeah, there's a, a very async uh, communication. Mm -hmm. But when people get hired to zap here, one of like the recruitment process was really hard. Yeah, I want to know more about that. So tell me more about how, because you just got hired, right? So yeah. how was it to get hired? What kind of process do they have? Because I think a lot of people are wondering about this. Yeah. First, because you are competing against everyone in the whole globe. The whole world. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's very complicated to like pass the first stage mm -hmm. because there's a lot of very good candidates on the triage. Uh, and once you pass, you have technical tests, and then you have to like sort of have a conversation about those technical tests. Mm -hmm. um, and there's like one of our interviews is basically what we call a coffee mm -hmm. uh, talk, just as if you were sitting with someone like not, not very informal. Yeah, not but very it's on formal. the computer. It's on the computer. Yeah, on Zoom. <laughs> oh, that's nice. uh, it's four or five of us normally. And what happens is we just try to understand if the person has the same values mm -hmm. as the company because like you might be a very very good candidate in terms of technical background but if you are not if you can't engage with people mm -hmm. then the communication is going to be a problem and it's our main way of yeah like especially remote right communicating. Yeah. so there is a lot of stages but on the other hand it's like the company aims to reply within seven days mm -hmm. and they're very like responsive if you email and oh it's been more than seven days how's everything going on <laughs> um yeah so i i really felt they they really care while the while i was in process and every time that they still didn't have a response they would come back to me and like because I remember it was the Thanksgiving weekend, so everyone was away and yeah. a long time. Um, but I was not in the dark at any moment, so that was oh. really... So how does that make you feel, I guess, from an employee experience perspective, the fact that they, they were really touched, they were like with you the whole way through the onboarding and the interviewing and everything. How does that make you feel about Zapier as a company? Because everyone I talk to Zapier has a very unique feeling towards the company, which I find really cool, you know? <laughs> well, for me, uh, and I've been in a few places, it's so far the best company I've worked for. Hmm. Um, because like we get heard. We have weekly meetings where our CEO speaks to us and we have donut pairing where random folks in the company get assigned to you and you just speak about what everyone's doing. Like there is a concern of people not being isolated, you being comfortable to speak to anyone about your problems. Mm -hmm. I can even give you an example because Zapier is US based. Mm -hmm. um, we work all as contractors in the UK and the rest of the Europe. And we raised that and to know how like how we could make, have better conditions because of course they have a good package mm -hmm. and sort of have a good package but not enough to compensate and straight away uh, a meeting was booked and we were a few talking about what we would like to have and this month the company already like not even two months after this call the company already gave us some more benefits to try and compensate what lacks um, and it's one thing I like about Zapier as well is it's very transparent. We try mm -hmm. not to have a lot of private chats. Like mm -hmm. if one person, if it's one person question, then might be someone else's mm -hmm. at some point. 
um, so they create me, a culture where everyone can talk and it's not judged or anything. Yeah. That's amazing. For me, it's the first company where I've had this kind of transparency and the company not saying like, we are family. And then in the back, you, you know, it's not like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, don't... Yeah. Yeah. I also feel like that's, yeah, that's so unique, but also I think in the emerging market of remote work, it's so necessary, like the trust level. Basically they're saying they trust you guys enough to, to tell you things and to invite you into the conversation and all of that. Yeah. And and because you work with the data and you are the first analyzer of it, what better than people that have insights to, we should be doing this instead of that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so that happens a lot. People just like um, giving their input. And for example, one of the founders um, found someone that was better than him. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the position he was occupying so he stepped aside and hired the person and is now doing other tasks it's like it's a bit of um they are humble mm -hmm. and they want to keep the company no matter how many people are here with the same spirit yeah that's amazing yeah. what would you what would you say to people that um are looking to get hired remotely like so say someone wants to uh wants to apply for a position at zapier or another company that hires remote do you have any tips that you feel like helped you to get hired? Cause you got picked out of a lot of people. So there's, yeah. something, there's something there I want to hear. Um, <laughs> like I never thought I was going to be, I uh, was going to be <laughs> hired <laughs> to be honest. I was actually surprised, but I guess like straight from the beginning, I tried to pass as much as I could in terms of, how I work, what are my values, mm. and try to make sure that my values were the same as Zapier, mm -hmm. which, which they are. And once that is aligned, that, that is um, one step forward. Um, it's like, for example, I, I love just sitting in this case, like chatting with people and over what you call the brown bag, lunch like just having training and passing knowledge to each other and i've had colleagues that hate this kind of stuff mm. uh so for example you're already not uh, like in the values of zapier as sort of you're not here to help everyone else as you want to be helped mm -hmm. so as long as like candidates align to the zapier values and then technical skills are there then it's likely that they might have an opportunity at the company. Yeah. And that's one thing I keep hearing from people who are hiring is if the person is skilled, but they're also passionate about that position, you know, like, it's not like, Oh, I just want a remote job. So this is some random job I found. It's like, you know, I really want yeah. this job and it happens to be remote, you know? So for me, I, I was, um, I'm moving to Belfast. Mm -hmm. And at the time I was like wanting to move from the company I was at. But I was like, I'm not going to find a job in London for three, four months. Mm -hmm. So I kind of joined my skills with the need of finding something else. And I was just lucky that at the time I was searching for this, there was the position at Zapier exactly asking for the skills I had. Right. So the thing is, if you are a fit and you have the chance of getting the interview, then it gets a bit easier once you show the skills you have and and speak and like because in the end of the day like if you have the skills and people like you and they you have good communication with them then they're gonna give you a green light so yeah i mean if you're authentic and you're yourself i think that's the best <laughs> the best thing people are like what should i be i'm like just be yourself that's no point, no point yeah. then you go into something not not even thinking about the company side, but your side, if you had to adapt yourself to a company that you won't like what you're doing. Yeah, that's, uh, it's not going to work out in the long run. Yeah. yeah. But one last question is, I know you said it's amazing that they give you guys like a quota for creating your own office, your home office. But is there any other, uh, I guess, digital tools that, that you guys use to make sure that you're connected? Do you use Slack and what other tools do you guys actually Slack. We use Jira just mm -hmm. to keep our priorities straight. Then we use um, async uh, and quip. Async is basically everyone posts whatever they want and we all get a notification. And if 
it's an article or something like that that interests you, just read it. Quip is sort of like Confluence mm -hmm. for documentation, um, just for everyone to be on the same page. Uh, one thing that is really nice is everyone writes a Friday update. Oh, really? So, where, do they, where do they post it? On Slack? It's like, uh, no, like uh, on this uh, Quip. Uh, oh, Quip, okay. I think that we have, you just go there and you just post. It's as if it was like a newsletter. Mm -hmm. And then, because we have bots for everything, because we are automated, <laughs> uh, the bots just let you know, like, for example, Katya, Friday's update and the title you gave to it. And it's nice because you tend to write what you've been working at, what you will work next week, but also, what am I doing this weekend? And then you have some people interacting, oh, I'm doing this as well. So it's a nice way to keep people engaged. That's amazing. So they're very, it sounds like they're really conscious of the tools are also used to connect the team as, as well as keep everything organized, right? And if someone comes up with a tool that they think it's going to benefit, for, for example, we have team retrospectives mm -hmm. and we are now trying uh, ret Retrium, I think, mm -hmm. which basically puts everyone in the same room. And then you can add topics that you want to speak about. People vote on it. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we did try to test some of the tools that might help the work uh, get done better. And if we like them, the company will pay the licenses for it. So. That's amazing. So anyone can throw something out and they'll test it out, right? Yeah. That's cool. Well, thank you so much for letting me interview you. I think all of these practical and systems, these are things that people really want to know. I think like a lot of times people talk about like the esoteric remote work and it's like, no, what tools do you use? How are you guys yeah. successful? How are you able to do this? How do you actually get hired? So I really appreciate you letting me take the time to interview on these things. And, um, and yeah, and good luck um, up there. I hope that the weather gets better. I mean, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. If I, know. <laughs> I, I don't think so, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, same here. Um, okay, so I will keep you posted and thank you so much and good luck with Zapier. I know that you just got started on your journey and I'm sure from what I've heard, it's amazing. So good luck with everything. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Everybody. Bye.